Wait. I don't want to go now. Wait. I don't want to go fast. Wait. But I need to get there quick. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Don't you love me anymore? Wait, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, so we're in downtown Fulton. It's been a while. This is our stomping grounds back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> this is where we used to try to uh, sow our seeds, so to speak. I was trying to plant my Plant seeds. them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> Lagers Brewery. And this is the Fullerton location. They have locations in Fullerton, Costa Mesa, and Redland. We have four Oktoberfest options with bootleggers. That this place, like out of all the breweries we went to that have Oktoberfest beers, this is the only one that has four different variations. The it's only cool. one. And we've been the, the only one. Yeah, about four. Over 30 maybe breweries. And yeah. Out of all the ones we've been to, I think this is probably the only one that offers a variety, uh, like the various options for, for Oktoberfest style beers. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, that was actually really cool. Both the ones we had were pretty awesome. Pretty damn awesome. Yeah. Fest beer, yeah. yeah. It's actually not, it's not technically Oktoberfest. Yeah. It's a, I think it's, it's a, a fest, fest beer. beer. Yeah. yeah. So we obviously we already drank our beers, uh, else we'd be drinking them right now. Um, we've been here for a little while, just kind of chit chatting and enjoying the scenery. Uh, or any brewer who wants to create a brewery. Uh, build your business right next to a pizza place. Yeah, a pizza place and an apartment <laughs> complex full of students that love beer and pizza. That's, I mean, that's a formula genius. for success right there. It's genius, man. Yeah, you know what? Fuck the marketing. No, you know what? Screw that. Market. You don't need that. You don't fuck need. that targeted ads <laughs> and great content. <laughs> Actually, a business that was established in 2006 um, by a fellow named Aaron. Kind of started the, the, the business process in 2006 when he was still in school and introduced him to a panel of students according to the website. In 2008, was able to sell one of the one of the kegs to a local brewery in the area in downtown Fullerton. There's, a, there's year round beers that you can find at local stores. The uh, El Chango, the Palomino, I think, was the other one. And the Knuckle Sandwich was the other one. Yeah, and Golden Chaos. The one I had here. Oh, the one I they had got. here. Okay. So Golden Chaos is going to be the other one. Now, there's a variety of different kind of year round beers that they do keep on tap. They have a lot too. Oh yeah, yeah. Like but more the, than a lot of other breweries that we've been to. Yeah, the menu, the menu here is, is pretty actually, consistent. Huh? It, it's pretty consistent, pretty diverse. Okay. Before October ends, go ahead and make your way down here. At least try the, the four different options that they have. It, it would be great if you've never had an October beer. Oh yeah. Like when you yeah. have four different, you know, yeah, uh, samples to try from. So, uh, which brings me to a good point. Did you even know? Not me. <laughs> hmm, interesting. <laughs> I do visit the website. You know what? Let's let's do a little. Speaking of which, Brandon asked, you know, why we haven't seen uh, this on Facebook. Most places we go to have one Oktoberfest beer. Well, the, and the, then quite at, frankly, dude, the promotion on all of it, all of them is like pretty bad. Yeah, it is because there's a lot of shitty Oktoberfest beers. There is, a, there, there really is. The, the thing is, it, why would you make four unless you're pretty damn sure that all four are equally uh, can stand on their own, you know, independently? Yeah, we found the hole here. They don't have a uh, Facebook pixel. Well, um, just for short, it's basically like a data tra a da data tracker that you embed on your website that tracks people that have gone to your website. And the thing is, 
that information is pretty useful for you because you could actually retarget web website visitors with Facebook ads. Huh. Crazy content. <laughs> Retargeting interested patrons. Like you know, via text. Like I guess the point crazy is content. Yeah, I guess the point is is if you are a if you are an established business, the point is to make more money. Well, it's your responsibility to kind of keep up with the technology. Should be. Should be. Right? But with the ability for us to be able to create a business solely using a fucking iPhone yeah. and a computer, like, we, we, don't, we literally don't have to go door to door anymore. Um, you know, Gary Vee made a, a very good point. I was watching a little excerpt from him. He was talking about the educational system. I'm not against it. I just think it's broken. It's because of one main factor is that the education system as it stands is predicated off of this idea of memorizing, memorizing, memorizing right? the information. Now, Not much to learn yet. in a world, right, into consideration, in a world that uh, gives you access to that information within seconds. Okay, so... Right? Yeah, so it's okay. Okay, so maybe that, the, the question was, who's the uh, you know, 33rd president? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, am I going to reach into the banks of my head? Like, here, like... No, it's like your memory bank, right? Right, right. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and set it a targeted ad, uh, specifically out here in the Fulton area, and maybe actually the Anaheim area. Yeah. We want to see how many people actually did know about this. So yeah. if you did know about it, uh, comment below. Um, Please. Unfortunately, you won't get anything from it for it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, we'll we'll throw we'll throw it out there, and hopefully you. You know, come here and try all four of their beers. Oh yeah. All four of their Oktoberfest beers, so. Let's make this happen.